Hey guys, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a video setting up for a couple of comebacks. Um, surprisingly, they're all Hive groups, so it's like the Hive comeback season right now. So I do have 17 BTS and TXT to set up for today. At the time of me filming this, TXT has already made their comeback, but the Target release hasn't come out yet, and that's where I'm getting my albums from, so figured it still counted. <laughs> I'm going to show you kind of what my plan is for all of these releases. Um, and then we're gonna set up my binders to collect the photo cards and other inclusions. And yeah, I hope you are excited. I hope you're excited for all these releases. It's gonna be a great next like month or so of getting these releases. So I'm super excited. So photo card spoiler alert if you don't wanna see the TXT photo cards, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this because the album is already out, the cards are already out. But yeah, so these are the photo cards for TXT. Um, so these are the three photo book versions and then also the jewel case version photo cards are at the bottom here. These sets are really, really pretty and they're super cohesive. So I feel like if you're an OT5 collector, you're gonna have a really fun time this era. I just click Yunjun though, so he will be the member that we will be focusing on for this era as well. In the photo book versions, there's also the lenticular photo cards, which unfortunately are not the same size as like a traditional nine pocket photo card. I just want to speak to Hybe's manager. Like, why do they always have to make things so complicated? Um, but they're super, super pretty. So I would like to also collect these for Yunjun, especially this one, the hate version. Excuse me, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> um, and then there's also postcards. If you don't know, I store Yunjun in A5 binder currently. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up getting the postcards. I feel like if I pull his postcard, I'll probably end up keeping it in like a one pocket or something. Um, assuming they fit in a one pocket, which I think they will. Cause I, I would also really like to have his hate version postcard. I think that would be a great time. And also his tear version is really pretty. Um, but I'm not sure if they're going to sell the tier version at Target and that's where I'm getting my albums from. So we'll have to see if I can find that on like Yokyo or Baiyi or something later. But yeah, that's basically TXT, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about their comeback later. Here we have what everyone's been calling an ode part two. So this is 17's. Face the Sun come back. Um, on the day of me recording this, they actually just dropped the shadow um, concept photos and they are gorgeous. Control I thought was good, but I definitely think shadow is my favorite of the two so far. Um, if you don't know, I love Seventeen so much. Like they are one of my all time favorite, favorite groups. And my bias in Seventeen is S Coops. And he is one of my top male biases, probably outside of my alt groups, like he is my top male bias. And so I collect him pretty thoroughly. That being said, there's quite a bit to collect for this album. So first of all, there's the highlighter pen, which we're not concerned about. If I pull Scoops' highlighter pen, then it'll be a great day. <laughs> but if I don't, um, it'll be fine. I actually really wanna pull, I can't remember like if these are just an age order or anything, but I would love to pull this purple one, honestly. like super super pretty <laughs> um which is not scoops color i'm pretty sure scoops is that one so yeah anyways 17 did five versions again because they said they've been too easy on us the past couple of eras with only releasing three versions so we had to go back to five there's the pet cards which looks like there's just one per version so i'm not gonna like set up for that i'll probably end up storing them but i'm not gonna worry about it for right now Lyric book, CD, at least we don't have random photo books this time. Is anyone else like very relieved that there's no more random photo books because I was over those. <laughs> and then we have a ton of photo cards. So yeah, each version has 52 photo cards, which equates to about four per member. It is four per member. It's exactly four per member. So yeah, each member has four cards per version, but if you buy one copy of the album, you get four photo cards per version. So you only need to buy one set to have enough cards to complete one member, which is so nice. Like that is really, really nice and has made me a lot less stressed about this release. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's also postcards. Um, so you get one of, oh, you get two out of 26. 
oh, each member has two postcards per version. For some reason, I just assumed that it was one postcard per version. That's quite unfortunate, actually. <laughs> That's so many postcards. What the heck, man? Um, and then you got a poster, which cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much 17. 17 also are releasing a Kino album, which I don't have the like album specs in front of me, but there are two random photo cards per member and they're not traditional nine pocket size photo cards. So basically Hybe and Pletus hate us. So yeah, there's that. I'm gonna be collecting those for scoops as well though. Um, I just don't have the, the thing in front of me. And then finally we have the long-awaited comeback from BTS, um, which is very, very exciting. If you don't know, when I collected Butter, um, I collected OT7 for Butter. I've been collecting BTS since debut. Like I've been collecting Jin, he's my bias, since debut. Um, but for Butter, I decided to do OT7 and I had a really good time with it. And a lot of people have asked me if I've considered doing OT7 for Proof as well. So, so this is the standard version of Proof. This is a three CD, why am I losing the word? It's not a compilation album. I'll go ahead and write it right here. But basically it's a lot of older songs and then I believe there's three new songs. So it's a big release. Um, there's a lot of music on these three CDs. It looks like they've also kind of included some demo versions, which is super cool. I'm super excited about that. Um, to listen to those tracks and yeah, there's definitely some classics on this album So I'm pretty excited about that as much as I would have loved like a new Track list like a completely new track list of like five or six songs on a mini album um, It is really cool that they're finally like releasing something new after so long and yeah I'm really excited for this release as well. So yeah, there's the three photo books, which are car called the Art of Proof, Photograph, and the Epilogue photo books. There's also, looks like a lyric book. Um, and then here are the three CDs. And then for the standard edition, you get a full set of photo cards. So if you buy the standard edition, you'll get this entire set for all of the members, which is pretty cool. Cause when I first saw this, I thought that it was like, this was random and this was random. Um, so obviously I'm gonna end up with this OT7 set already. And then here we have the photo card B, um, which you get one of eight photo cards. So there's also a group card. This one is only seven cards, but this one has eight cards. So you get one of eight cards for this version of the photo card. Um, and then there's also these super pretty blue postcards. And if you know anything about me, blue, especially this shade of blue is like my favorite color. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I haven't decided for these two things if I wanna collect OT7 for them. I definitely want Jin for both of them. Um, however, because this album is so giant and there's so much music on it, it is a pricier album. And the thing with Butter was that the album was like a lot cheaper than this. And so it was easier for me to go into Target and buy more copies of the album. Whereas buying more copies of this version of the album, first of all, it's like super bulky. And second of all, it's gonna be really expensive. So I haven't fully decided. I definitely want to get at least like one or two copies of this version, um, but we're gonna see on a Target release day. But yeah, I definitely am going to end up with this entire set. So I will have that and I'll at least have gin for these two things. Um, it really just kind of depends what pricing is like because I feel like when an album is more expensive, the photo card prices are also way more expensive. And BTS cards are already pretty pricey. So just some things that I'm trying to keep in mind. Um, this is the compact version. This is the other version of the album and it's a lot cheaper. The other one is about $64 on K-Town For You and this one is about $16. So there's definitely like a huge price difference between these two. And obviously like it's kind of hard to tell from this picture because it's like against a black background, but it is a much more, as the name states, a compact version of this album. So yeah, this is definitely like, if you're looking for, oh, this is a better photo of it, hold on. 
So if you're looking for something that's going to like sit on your shelf better, maybe you don't want a super bulky album, I would recommend this version. Though it is really cool that you get like a full set of photo cards in the standard edition. If you're trying to like save space or you can't maybe afford the $65 album, which like totally understandable, <laughs> it's a lot of money for an album. I don't know exactly what the Target price is yet. I haven't actually looked to see how much Target is going to be selling it for, but Anyways, going down through the contents, we have like all the same music, all the same CDs. It looks like there's just one photo book here. So you do get a smaller photo book, which I love photo books. So um, that is definitely something I'm gonna consider, but I'm gonna end up with both versions of it. I plan on buying both, so. Um, and then for this version, you get a random photo card, one of seven. And this photo card set looks so cute. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of like a black and white concept. I like colors. And so this concept looks like really soft and cute. And so I might end up doing OT7 for this set because the album is much cheaper, this version of the album and I prefer this random set of photo cards. So I think I'm gonna end up doing OT7 for this set and then maybe just do like Jin's card from the B set from the standard edition. Um, and then of course we have the postcards here, um, which are also a super, super gorgeous shade of blue. And um, as of right now, I just plan on collecting Jin for this postcard, but if I end up doing OT7 like for this, I'm gonna end up with a couple copies of this album. And so I might end up doing OT7 for the postcards as well, just because I'll already have like, if I end up buying like four or five copies of this version, I'm probably just gonna do the postcards because I'm gonna end up with a bunch of postcards. So that is all of the booklets. I think I went through that pretty efficiently. I feel like sometimes I spend way too long talking about that and not enough time in the binder. So let's go into the binders. I'm gonna start with TXT just because they're the most straightforward one. All right, so here's my TXT binder. Actually, it's TXT and a hyphen, but I really wanna get this Yunjin Sanctuary card now that TXT are making a comeback because it is the only card that I'm missing from Yunjin as of right now. Only small card. Um, I don't really thoroughly collect his larger cards just because I don't know hybe I do like this one though I really did want this one so yeah but we'll go here and I need actually we will go here and for some reason I thought I had like empty spaces here so I'm really glad I must have been thinking about Jake because Jake is also in this binder I think there's like two empty spots maybe I made that up oh yeah there are two empty spots at the end for Jake so I must have been thinking Jake instead of Yunjin, but let me get some sleeves. Okay, so we've got a couple sleeves here. These are just classic Beyond the four pocket sleeves, in case you were curious. I always link all of my supplies in the description box. A5 stuff can be kind of hard to find, but I try my best, I promise. So, and then I also have one of these because the lenticulars are not gonna fit in classic four pocket sleeves. This here, I'm gonna put this one back here. Like I said, I would like to collect the lenticulars. They're definitely not gonna be like my highest priority to trade for. I think I'm gonna end up buying, I don't know. I haven't decided how many copies of this album I'm gonna buy in Target. You're gonna have to watch my Target vlog to see that because I don't even know at this point. Fate and the tier card. Hoping I can pull some Yeonjun this weekend. Otherwise like, like all Target releases, it's gonna be the first day of a lot of international fans having their albums. And so the trading community is gonna be popping as it usually is on Target release days because people get their albums and then they go to Instagram and Twitter and they're looking to trade their polls. So yeah, I really enjoy collecting Yeonjun. I know a lot of people find him very stressful, but I just kind of like, collect his smaller cards and I don't try to stress too much about it. And I don't know, I really enjoy collecting him. And then also on this page, I I can't find any like confirmation on Target's website, but I think that there's a Target exclusive photo card, right? Like that's normal. <laughs> so, so I also have a spot for this Target card because he's gonna be alone. I might end up getting like another pop later on. Uh, I don't have any more copies pre-ordered from anywhere else, but um, yeah, I would like to maybe end up getting um, another pod just to have something next to him on this page. 
And then of course we have the lenties. So the mess end and hate lenticulars. So I'm just gonna use these sleeves as placeholders and then I'm just gonna store them here. But yeah, I think it would be nice to have some the lenties for Yunjun. I don't have the postcards like set up in here at all, but um, if I end up pulling one of his, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it obviously, um, but yeah. And then I don't know what I'll do on the back here, but that is going to be it for TXT. Pretty straightforward, like I said. I'm really excited though. I really do like TXT's comeback. I think the concept is super, super cool and their sales this comeback have been insane. So, <laughs> so deserved locking Yunjun in that freezer. That's like the funniest video ever of Yunjun being in that freezer. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm so happy we got a million sales sitting in the freezer. Oh my God. If you haven't seen that video, you should go look it up. I saw it on TikTok this morning, um, but it wasn't TXT's TikTok either. It was like some random TikTok account, but it was so funny. So this binder houses BTS and Seventeen. So we will just, let me zoom out a little more. We will go ahead and get set up. So I guess the first thing that I will do here, since I have my Jin collection first, is, but yeah, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and add in the standard B photo card for Jin um, to this page. And like I said, I can always adjust this later if I decide to collect OT7. If the photo card prices for the B set aren't like super pricey, then maybe I will just end up trying to collect them. But there's plenty of lucky draws and stuff coming out too for BTS. So I'm sure eventually album cards will be a little cheaper, but we will see. Also, I don't have any plans to get any other pobs right now. If there's a target card, then we'll have to do that. But I couldn't find it on Target's website if they were going to have cards. So <laughs> I actually have no idea if Target's going to have cards or not. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below. And then we'll move back to my OT7 sets here. I really do enjoy collecting OT7 for BTS. I've shown this like my butter sets 18,000 times. And I know a lot of people did OT7 for butter. So <laughs> you're not special, Carolyn. But I just really think that these were so pretty. So I'm really excited to collect these again. Also, I do always do Jin before Namjoon and I know that it bothers some people, but it's just the way that it makes the most sense in my brain. So I apologize in advance if that bothers you, but that's just kind of how my brain works and how I like to store my collection. So, so I guess first we'll do the standard edition since this is gonna be the full set. So we have Hobi, Jin, JK. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in in a traditional seven pattern because yeah, I always like to alternate my seven patterns when I have multiple seven patterns in a row. So because I had a filler here and Jin here, I'm gonna put Jin here, Nam Jin here, and then a filler here, so. That's because sometimes you will be like, did you do that the wrong way? And it'll be like, I'll be like, no, it's just, I like to kind of balance the binder um, when I can, especially because a lot of my binders are super thick. I try to alternate where my fillers are if there's multiples in a row. So excited though. This comeback is still like quite a bit away, but we literally have like two other, so many other comebacks, honestly. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use my hollow white sleeves as fillers here. And this one here. So yes, that's gonna be my setup for the full photo card set. And then for the compact, version A, or no, the compact cards, not version A. There's only one version of those. So we'll just do another seven pattern, but this time we're going to alternate the seven pattern again. Oh, 
Okay, cool. So we've got both OT7 sets set up and then also we're going to set up for the postcards. So I have a three pocket. I think they're gonna fit in three pockets, but we will have to see. Where do I wanna put it? I guess I'll put it right here, maybe? I don't know. Well, no, so this is like a an extra set for this release. And this was an extra set for B. So maybe we'll do it behind the B cards. Yes, so I just have the two postcards marked right now. Um, and then these are both gin, obviously, but if I end up collecting like OT7 for either of these, then I will adjust accordingly. Actually, I'm probably gonna do it like this so that it doesn't have to be sideways like that. So yeah, so that's gonna be my setup for BTS, which is going to be a fun time. I'm really excited to collect more for BTS. It's been so long, like, like I started collecting all the like tour cards and stuff just because it's been so long and I was like, I really wanted to collect something more for BTS. So I'm super excited for their comeback, of course. Next we have, um, should I put the postcards back here actually? Next we have scoops. So, so many 17 cards. And I have so many on the way. I'm supposed to have a um, Makari Japan package delivered today. So that's fun. It has like a ton of scoops cards in it, like a bunch of his concert cards and stuff. Um, so that's gonna be fun. That'll be in the sorting photo card video before this goes up. So these are all of his like extra cards. Let's go back to Korean album cards. I was just admiring my collection, <laughs> ignore me. But yeah, so I'm gonna put um, the cards right behind Ataka, which like, please help me finish Ataka. I'm missing Joshua's OP1. And I'm also missing this Joshua card. There was a mess up with a trade I did. And so I didn't end up getting that card when I was supposed to. And I'm really sad about it. So yeah, please help me finish Joshua for Ataka before 17's come back. I would much appreciate that. I need a lot of sleeves for this activity. So each member has 20 photo cards, right? So there really isn't a nice way if you store 17 in a normal size binder and a4 binder if you store them in an a5 binder this is perfect because there's four cards per member per version this time there's gonna be a lot of cards you're adding to your a5 binder but i mean so here's what i decided to do because the last thing i wanted was to have a lot of empty space because what would happen is if i did 20 cards i would have two full nine pages and then i would have two cards on this page and i was like that looks stupid. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that for scoops. So I'm doing kind of what I did with an ode, except there's no like circle card this time. They gave us a highlighter instead. Like what? <sighs> Anyways, but I'm gonna do two eight patterns and then I'll show you what I'm gonna, or three eight patterns. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do on the eight patterns, the last page. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Let me make sure I do these in the correct version order. The only thing I'm not gonna set up today for is 17's target cards too, because um, I have a problem when it comes to 17, because last time I ended up with seven target cards. <laughs> We're still not sure how I ended up with seven target cards. Um, but yeah, so I'm not even gonna set up for it because I don't know what future Carolyn is gonna wanna do she has a hard time getting rid of 17 things. I, yeah, I just have a hard time getting rid of 17 things when I pull them. A lot of groups I'm like, oh, you know, I love this card, but I'm gonna trade it for my bias, I think. But for 17, I'm always like, oh my gosh, I wanna keep this, especially for things like the target cards. And yeah, so we're gonna do the control card. I really hope Scoops decides he loves me in this comeback. I'm trying to decide if I want to order two sets of this album. The first set being like off of K-pop Market 01 or something. Um, and the second set being Target because Target comes out later because the Friday that this would normally get released, 
um, is actually a holiday weekend in the States. And so I think that they like pushing the American release back, which is quite unfortunate. But uh, am I gonna wanna wait that long to have this album? Is like the actual thing. Like, so I might end up ordering um, an additional set of albums through like K-Pop Market 01 or something just so that I can have it. This album comes out my birthday week too, which I just think is the cutest thing. Like, thanks 17. So here we have the control and the shadow cards. So yeah, hopefully Scoop loves me like I said. The thing is though that's holding me back from doing that is that you only need one set of albums to complete a member, but I do want to get his Kino cards as well. So I should buy a Kino, right? And in that case, I should just buy a complete set of albums, right? <laughs> Tell me now in the comment section down below. <laughs> Be like, Carolyn, your brain. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't be like, Carolyn, you're so smart for that. Be like, Carolyn, no, you're stupid. Do not buy two sets of this album. You know you're already gonna walk into Target and you're just gonna like lose your mind <laughs> and buy more albums than you need anyways. So yeah, I might have to do this Target vlog in Atlanta, actually, fun fact, because I think I might be in Atlanta for Monstex's tour this day. That'll be a fun time. I'm not traveling by myself, I don't think. I have to drag the people going to tour with me to Target for 17. That'll be funny. Oh my God, I should do that. The Mon Bebe group Target vlog. That'd be so funny. Though I don't know if any of these people would actually want to be in a video with like beyond video, so. I ran out of this color of sticky notes, so that's why these are different. Okay, and then for pie, for the last page, so we're gonna have four pioneer cards. So let me go ahead and put those in first. I went and saw the 17 movie a couple weeks ago and originally I filmed like a little vlog on it, but I was supposed to do more things that weekend and nothing I didn't end up doing other things. So there wasn't a lot of content in that vlog, but um, I had a really good time seeing the 17 movie. I thought it was really, really fun. I might end up reorganizing this later because now that I'm actually looking at this in person, I'm not sure unless I did this. Unless I did this. I'm not sure if I love it. All right. I'm assuming, I'm assuming because I know 17 and I know how they do their photo cards that it's gonna be similar to an ode where like this is the same concept, but there's two photo cards that like match up better with each other and then two other cards that match up better with each other. You can't see that because of the glare, but you know what I'm talking about? So that's kind of like what my brain is thinking that Pletus is gonna do for their photo cards. Um, I don't think all four are going to be from the same concept. I mean, that would be really cool, but I think they're going to be slightly different. Also, ignore the numbers for this because I'm probably just going to like... Actually, you know what? Not me changing this four times, but that's what happens when you click on a setting up for comebacks video. Like, sometimes I know exactly how I'm going to do everything and sometimes things don't seem to look as nice in the binder as they do in my brain. So, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do for the last four Pioneer cards. And then, because I know myself, um, I'm anticipating that I'm gonna want some other things. So we're just gonna set up for them. So this doesn't necessarily have to be the Pioneer version. I'm gonna do this for whatever version is my favorite version when they all get announced and when the cards all come out. Um, but basically I'm going to fill in the rest of these spots with Joshua and Jonghan cards. And since Dino is my like other member of my bias line, maybe if we pull a really cute Dino card, we'll put him here instead of the filler. But um, I did originally want to collect OT3 95 line for this release. And then I just saw the amount of photo cards and I was like, no, no, I don't want to. Um, unless I pull like a ton of Jonghan, like that would be the only reason why I would decide to do it. But I feel like there's just so much going on right now and there's so many cards in this release that I was just like, it's also really hard to make um, three members look nice in nine pockets, like I've tried. So basically I'm going to do 
where's my fourth card? I'm going to do um, two Joshua and two Jonghan cards from whatever version is my favorite. And whatever version has like my favorite photo cards, I'm going to try to collect a couple of Joshua and Jonghan cards. Because I know that when if I pull Joshua and Jonghan cards, this is what happened for Ataka, I am going to want them. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I think I'll do them diagonally for right now. Like I said, I know myself, I know how I am with 17. I know that I'm just going to like, <laughs> I, I know, I know what's going to happen if I end up pulling Joshua or Jonghan. So we're just going to set up for that in advance. Um, and like I said, again, it won't have, it doesn't have to be the pioneer version. It can be whatever version I think is my favorite. So yeah. And then I will end up doing like target cards, but once again, I cannot tell you what future Carolyn is going to do when she walks into target and sees 17 albums on the shelf. Cannot tell you that information because <laughs> I myself do not know. All right, let's move back to larger inclusions. I think the first thing is, I think the Kino cards for this album are going to fit in an eight pocket. Um, so I'm going to store them here. I do want both of his Kino cards, which is very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad that they finally have like, actually I have other scoops, Kino stuff. Oh, these are his Ataka like Kino postcards. They're not like random photo cards, but these are his Ataka postcards. So what we're gonna do actually is I'm gonna put, just in case they end up being a little bigger photo cards too, this will give me the option to have a little more space. So I'm gonna put Scoops' two Kinos here. 17 have finally entered the phase where they have random Kino cards. It's the saddest day. We all cried. <laughs> The amount of people who were like tagging me and they were like, Carolyn, random Kino cards. And I was like, no, I'm just going to put these on the back for right now. I was so sad. I was like, I'm going to do it because it's scoops. Like I would, I would bear, I would not do it for any other man. Um, but as you can see, I do a lot for scoops. I try to collect him as thoroughly as I can. I'm going to put these postcards right after Ataka. Um, also, I only thought that there were one was one postcard per member, per version, so I only have five sticky notes made instead of ten, and I'm not going to make that many sticky notes for postcards, so I'm just going to, this is only going to be six, we're going to need to add more, but I don't have another, it's only going to be nine if I double side the postcards, which is probably what I'm going to do. So. Yeah, I'll add in another one. I don't have any more pockets that have fillers in them though. So, so many random postcards. So I'm gonna do control, control, um, shadow on the back of this card. Shadow, shadow, um, what's next, Ray? I might end up storing these in two pockets actually too, even if they are three pocket size, because if there's two postcards per version per member, it's gonna look better that way. So I might end up switching this to a two pocket layout. You will just have to watch my sorting photo card videos and see. I probably will end up doing two pockets. I have to make more fillers though, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for today. But yeah, that is everything for 17's release. I'm really excited to collect for 17. I'm really excited to collect for TXT and also BTS. Like it's gonna be so, so fun. Um, I've especially been really wanting to collect 17 again recently. I feel like it's been a long time since Ataka. It hasn't actually been that long since Ataka, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what comebacks you're getting ready for, what you're setting up for, what you're excited for. And if you're collecting any of these three groups, let me know what you collect for them in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.